Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to another session on engineering graphics with me Yash Chavla from Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology. Last time we started up with projections of planes and this time we are going to continue and solve more examples. Before we start, uh, as I always do before starting the projections, uh, as I did in points, as I did in line and as, as I did last time also in plane, let us once again brief, brief up about the planes the coordinates, coordinate axis and the horizontal and vertical plane. So uh, what are we going to study today? We are going to have solved examples of oblique planes and thereafter we will be having auxiliary planes as well. There are three types of planes basically in an axis. The, they are horizontal plane, vertical plane and uh, profile plane. As you can see the blue part is the vertical plane, the pink part is the horizontal plane and the orangish part or you can say the saffron part is the profile plane. Moving on, there are three types of views that are formed in dif on different uh, planes. First is the front view better known as elevation which is formed on vertical, uh, vertical plane. The top view which is also known as plan which is formed on horizontal plane and the side view which is formed on profile plane which has both elevation as well as plan. The different quadrants, the two x and y axis, uh, the x axis is the horizontal one, y axis is the vertical one. When uh, they both intersect at uh, the origin they form three quad four quadrants, I'm sorry first, second, third and fourth they go in anti-clockwise direction as you can see on your screen. Moving on, this is the isometric view of the different quadrants. The first quadrant on the right hand side, you can see the front view and the top view as uh, they are formed. The top view is formed on HP which is known as horizontal plane and the front view which is the which is formed on VP which is the vertical plane and similarly it goes on to second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant and fifth quadrant. Basically the concept of quadrants has to be understood because uh, when the object is in first quadrant then you have different uh, if we on a paper if you draw, draw it in two dimensions we have uh, the HP and VP which will be above line XY and below line XY respectively in different quadrants. So the uh, next table uh, will show you that if the position of the object point or line is above HP and in front of VP then it is in the first quadrant and if it is above HP and behind VP then it is in the second quadrant. If the object plane or point is below HP and in front uh, sorry behind uh, VP then it is in the third quadrant and if it is below HP and in front of uh, VP then it is in the fourth quadrant or you can go uh, reverse also if it is, if the question says that it is in the first quadrant then you have to you know that the object line or plane is above HP and in front of VP similarly for the second third and fourth quadrants moving on let's start solving examples once again so last time we solved three examples and this time we are going to move on and uh, in the total of two hours we'll be solving approximately seven to nine example as we uh, as the time permits so the, let's go on to the first question a circle there this is an example of one single uh, oblique which the uh, plane is oblique to a single uh, axis or you can say either to HP or VP. So the question says a circular plate of 50 mm diameter appears as an ellipse in front view. Having its major axis 50 mm long and minor axis 30 mm long we have to draw its top view. So now let's see I have a circle with me this is a circle and as it is a circular plate then I know that its thickness is very negligible. So now I have to according to the question I will place it on the and I will show you the front view and the top view and then I will show you that basically how the question says that it, uh, it is seen as an ellipse. So if we come to this camera first I will show you the top view. The question says that it is making an ellipse in the uh, it is making an ellipse in the front view. So the thing is that it is parallel to HP then what will happen is that it will start making an angle with HP right now see I am keeping it right on HP then what will happen is 
that I will start to raise the front end. I will keep this point constant and I will start to raise the front end little bit. So right now the front view is a straight line as you can see in the camera. We will be seeing both the views together first so that you understand that in this particular position when the plane is on HP, the top view, this view is a circle and this straight line, uh, yes, a bit, a bit dim will do. Yeah, as you can see that it is a straight line. Yeah, now it is perfect. It is a straight line in the front view that is in the small uh, corner and the big uh, screen shows you the top view. Now what is happening is that I will uh, make an angle with HP this way. Right? So now what, what you are seeing? You are seeing an ellipse which, I, which is making an angle with HP. Now what I'll do is, if it is the same thing, if it is making an angle with VP, then you will again see an ellipse in this fa fashion. So my uh, this circular plate is parallel to HP and now it is going to make an angle. So here goes. Now let's draw it on paper using our various instruments. First of all, as we always do, I'll write down given. Yeah, so I'll write down given what is given to me. Uh, the diameter is given, D is given as 50 mm. Yeah, the D is given as 50 mm. And then, so will the radius would be 25 mm. Okay, so in the front view, the front view, if I talk about the front view, the major axis, is 50 mm long, and the minor axis, is 30 mm long. So, I know, the front view will be a straight, li uh, straight line, and the top view would be, a circle when we are in the initial position and then once we make uh, an angle with uh, HP then we will have uh, ellipse which has major and minor axis as 50 and 30 mm respectively so let's draw the XY line first x y now what i'll do is on my scale if i just zoom it in what i'm doing is i'm taking a radius of 2.5 i've taken a radius of 2.5 mm then the next thing that i'll do is I will draw the top view as this circle which is not visible. So what I will do is I will make it dark using my sketch pen. Okay, so this is the circle that I have. Now, uh, the center is this, which is, I'll take it as uh, uh, O. I'll take it this as O. The next thing that I need to do is, I need to mark the end projector. I need to draw the projectors. Okay, and this is the diameter
this is the diameter from which I have drawn. Now what I'll do is, the next thing that is going to happen is that I'll mark these two points. Now this is what, this is my top view and this line that I have is my front view. Now I'll divide the circle into eight different parts. Now I, I'm doing it directly but you, uh, by now you guys must know how the circle is divided into eight equal parts. This is four. I'm doing it randomly but you should use the arc method to do it. And again, I will label them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now the next thing that I have to do is, I have to from each and every single point, I need to draw the projectors on this front view. Now if I mark this point, this will be 1 dash, this will be 2 dash and 8 dash, this point will be 3 dash and 7 dash, this point will be 4 dash and 6 dash and this point will be 5 dash. Okay, the next thing that the question says is that the front view, uh, the this is the top view okay now the front view that is there is actually having uh, th the major axis and the minor axis as this so now what the next thing is okay so the this is the top view and this is the i will draw the end projectors These two lines show the end projectors. The next thing, I know the distance between those, uh, these two lines. Okay. The end projectors is 30 mm. So between these two lines, I will measure 30 mm. and I'll have the actual end projectors as this. So my ellipse, basically, my ellipse will be formed between these two lines. The, this will be the minor axis and this will be the major axis. So, what I'll do, I'll mark the points as this. The extension of points will be done. In this way, you have to extend the points. parallel lines again parallel lines and finally this point so I have this point and this point as 1 dash and 5 dash or I can take yeah 1 dash and 5 dash 1 1 dash and 1 5 dash that is what I'll take the next is that I have this point uh, 
I'll draw the axis then I'll take the midpoint on this line and with a free hand I will draw the ellipse this is my 3 1 dash and this is my 7 1 dash now as I know I have this line so that this line uh, yes this line can be here so I have the true length as how much as 50 mm so what I'll do is I'll take 50 mm and I will cut an arc from this point to here and then I will join this line this is 1 1 this is 5 1 now I will measure these two points cut an arc here this is my 2 1 and 8 1 then I will measure this here this is my 3 1 and finally I will have my 4 1 and 6 1 so now dropping the end projector uh, sorry dropping the projectors on this line I will have my different points so where the both lines intersect I will have my different points